Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. A bit windy here today. I'm in Icefield. Icefield, Icefield, just north of Lewis, and looking at this lovely heritage uh, railway line. Part of the original Lavender Line, which was opened in 1858, but later obviously fell under the axe of good old Mr. Beeching. Um, but now they open up, it's run by volunteers. Absolutely amazing. It's not open today. Um, could be midweek. Look at this, look at some of the trains there already parked up. Isn't that great? Let's say this is the old Lewis to Uckfield line. The Lewis to Uckfield line closed in 1969 I think it was there we go they're open next oh this week Saturday the 20th of April unfortunately I'm doing two tours at the theatre so The Lavender Line Preservation Society. The aim of the society is to reopen the railway between Upfield and Lewis. The society relies on memberships, donations from our visitors, like a lot of these charities are. I imagine it's quite an expensive place to run, but with fuel. I love, I love the, old, uh, the old waiting room where you can buy your tickets. I was going to have lunch originally in the pub next door, but I thought I might be too early, so I booked it for down the road uh, at a pub called The Cock along the A26. So that's going to be great. So as it's not open until Saturday, and as we're in Icefield, Icefield, I'll take you down the road to St Margaret of Antioch Church. How about that? So here we are at St Margaret of Antioch in Icefield. 800 years old this church, 800 years old. And I think it's going to be locked because there's a, a padlock on the door, which is a shame. It was originally dedicated to St Mary, but changed to St Margaret of Antioch in 1505. The original village was moved down towards the station, the railway station. And there's only a, like a few houses scattered around here. There's, I think, the manor just over the back there, which used to be a medieval manor. So I do like these like isolated churches. It used to be a hub of activity, and now nothing. Robert de la War, Robert de la War, with two R's at the end, who was the lord of the manor. You change the name of the church. There you go. I'm sure you can sleep better for knowing that. Okay, we had a bit of sunshine, now it's raining again. Oh, it did say it's gonna rain on and off, on and off, but hey, it's all good, it's all good. So I hope you enjoyed the little video from the uh, Lavender Line. Um, I must come here on Heritage Day, I think it'd be really interesting 
have a ride on some of the trains. You know, I'm not a train buff or anything, but I still think it'd be entertaining. Um, that's more your scene, isn't it? A Bodium Station Master. Um, but yeah, and we came to the church as well, which wasn't open, but what can you do? Uh, still a nice church to see. Have a walk around, gather your thoughts, you know. Sometimes I just switch the camera off and just have sort of 10 minutes meditation, that kind of thing. So now, I'm going to go down to the Star for a lunch. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Let's go. That was a lovely lunch in the Cock Inn, which was 15th century. I was talking to the, I think the landlord, 15th century. A lovely burger and chips. Basic, but delicious. Thank you so much. Really nice pub, really friendly staff. I had a nice chat with one of the people who work there. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff as we uh, enter down into Lewis for more videos and adventures. See ya. Pretty you up when the blinds pull down You love it when nobody's around I wanna call out pound town But you bite my lip, don't make a sound I'll be down if I'm leaving without you mm.